So before we can get into, you know, episode two of the Fan Showdown, we, uh, we got to make some tweaks to the current situation. In episode one, I said I was going to lock all the fans at 1200 RPM, and well, that went over like a, a lead balloon. So in, in light of that video, we're going to be removing that parameter from the Fan Showdown, and we're going to set all the fans free. We're just going to let them spin as fast as they can, or at least as fast as aerodynamically possible, and just see what happens. Also, a lot of you guys were quite cross that I didn't print the, uh, the boomer at 100% infill, so I did fix that. So we're gonna retest the boomer along with all the other fans at maxed out speeds and see exactly what happens to the leaderboard. Now I will say I'm actually kind of interested to see if there's gonna be any shakeup in the standings or if anything will, or if everything will just actually remain how it is. Uh, who knows? Currently though, the uneven harmony is in first, followed by the wave in second, duplex in third, and the boomer is bringing up the rear in fourth place. So the first fan to be retested, I thought was only fair to be the boomer, now printed at 100% infill. How did it do? Well, the RPM of the boomer this time around was 2,305, and the CFM through the air cooler was 44.06. After 15 minutes of Ida 64, temperatures leveled off at 76.3, room temperature of 20.6, giving us a delta of 55.7. Also, I really didn't notice any difference in vibration between the 15% infill version and the 100% infill version, so seemed about, about the same. The duplex ramped up to 1,834 RPM and moved 42.23 CFM of air through the tower cooler. Uh, the duplex finished with an average temperature of 76.6 at a room temperature of 20.3, giving it a delta of 56.3. The wave spinning at 1,868 RPM pushed about 48.5 CFM of air through the air cooler and finished with an average temperature of 76.7 at a room temperature of 20.7, giving us a delta of 56. The uneven harmony whipped around at about 1,983 RPM, pushed about 54.7 CFM of air through the air cooler, and finished with an average temperature of 75.5 at a room temperature of 20.6, giving us a delta of 54.9. And just for a bit of context, I did run or rerun the A12X25, and it spun at about 2,015 RPM and gave a reading about 5506 CFM through the air cooler. And the average temperature of that one after the run was 75.6 at a room temperature of 20.5, giving us a delta of 55.1, meaning that when running at full speed, the lineup actually does change. The uneven harmony does remain in first, like it was the first time around. It actually did better than the A12X25. The boomer now, though, is in second, not counting the A12X25. The wave moves to third, and the duplex drops to fourth, which is very surprising. I didn't think the boomer would finish as well as it did. It was pretty... I mean, it vibrated quite a bit. Uh, it didn't seem like it was moving that much air, but it, it managed to cool the tower cooler pretty good. So now that everything's straightened out, we got the parameters where we want them to be. Uh, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you have a fan design you want to submit to this fan showdown, uh, I'll leave a link in my description of where to send that fan. It's to the fan showdown at gmail.com. Uh, the parameters or design aspects that you need to adhere to are on my Thingiverse account. And I look forward to seeing your guys' designs because they're always so awesome. And next time you guys see the fan showdown, it'll be episode two. See ya!